Welcome back to Singer Family Adventures. If you're new to our channel, we're just starting this channel, so we're new to it too. But we're going to be doing quite a number of Disney things, and we're going to be doing some pin unboxings today. And we're also going to be doing other things on our channel, things with our dog, maybe things with our cat, things out and about and around. Um, so my name is Valerie, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, write me a comment so that I know that you're here, and we would love, love you to subscribe. I am already planning to start some giveaways of some things once we start hitting a significant number of subscribers. So we're not even at 25 yet. Let's see if we can get to 25, and then I would do my first giveaway to you, the watchers. Thank you so much for watching. All right. Today, we're going to unbox a new set of Disney pins. Um, these are guitar pins. The front of the box is not that exciting. It's just black. It says below guitars, really in dark letters. Um, this is a limited release box set that just came out last week. And a woman named Beth picked them up for me in Orlando. So thank you so much, Beth. And I hope you're watching and I really appreciate you. So this is a 10 pin set. I have to admit that the first one in here, I don't know who he is. You see the dog in the top corner. I'm not sure who that dog is. Would you, somebody tell me in the comments below, I need to learn my Disney a little better. Then we have Blue from a Jungle Book. And then we have Mrs. Potts from Beauty and the Beast. We have Ariel, of course. We have the Genie. Um, the original genie and we have Simba and Stitch we are really rooting to get Stitch out of this pack because he is one of our favorites Snow White Pocahontas and I believe that is Sleeping is that Sleeping Beauty? Yes Sleeping Beauty Aurora with her beautiful bird on top and look at the details in these there's some great little details well let's get to opening the pins and seeing them in real life all right, box number one. Let me tell you, if you're smarter than me when you start a YouTube uh, channel, you will not let your teenage son be in charge of editing because he might put stuff in here that's kind of embarrassing. All right, so these might have been opened because we might have filmed this out of focus, but da, 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 you still get all the suspense. Pin number one is Mrs. Potts. And she is very pretty. She's got bubbles coming out of her teapot nose. And a Lumiere is on there as well. And so is the Enchanted Rose. That's a beautiful pin. We're going to give you a close up in a minute. And pin number two dun, dun, dun. is Baloo from the Jungle Book. And this is a really cool pin. He's got a green kind of jungly background. And there's actually, at the very top of the guitar, um, there are bananas growing the way bananas grow, which for somebody who didn't grow up around banana trees looks upside down, but it's actually the way they grow. Super cool. All right, we'll give you a close up of those. We are on to box number two. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I think we're gonna get doubles. I think we're gonna get stitch. I think we're gonna get, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we got Baloo again. Oh my goodness, doubles. Still, very cool pin. I've got traders. So uh, these are $20 a box for two of them. That They are limited release, which means they won't be made for too long. And it sounds like a lot. The rack pins, which are the ones that you go into a store and you see them on the rack as individual pins, they actually start at $9.99. So that's the cheapest rack pin. 
Um, so given that, this is about the same price as a rack pin. All right, let's see what we got here. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I got a double box. I got two boxes. I mean, I got a box that has two doubles from the last one. I got another Mrs. Potts. All right, so if you are collecting these and you want to trade for Blue or Mrs. Potts, please leave me a comment below. I'd love to do some pin trading with you. That would be fun. Let's move on to box number three. Dun, 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 dun. No doubles, no doubles. Give me stitch, please. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. What do you think? You think it's gonna be Baloo and Mrs. Potts again? It could be, it could be. There are eight others that I don't have. So statistically speaking. Oh, awesome, okay. It's the dog that I don't know who he is. It's the dog that I need to figure out who he is. It looks like there's actually a teeny little cat in the background. Um, this is a dog with a white scarf. It said something there. I can't read. My eyes are getting worse as I get old. I'm going to pass this to my teenage son and let him try to see what he sees in the background. Jonah? Okay, so the word is taxi in the background. Oops, we got a, yep, and there's a cat. I gotta figure out what movie this is and maybe watch it. All right, last pin, last pin. No doubles, no doubles, no doubles. Dun, dun, dun. Oliver and Company. It's called Oliver and Company. Oliver and Company. Now, I've heard of that. That's actually one of the pins that have come out. Um, I forget if it was the pop-up or if it was the vintage vinyl. They had Oliver and Company as the movie for vintage vinyl for those pins um, this month. In case you're not sure what I'm talking about, Disney has a certain series of pins that they do one each month for the year. This year, there's a really cool one called Vintage Vinyl um, that's meant to look like little records, and it slides out with the records. So, I saw Oliver and Company as one of the records, I think it was that, and I thought, I don't know that movie, so we're gonna be digging through Netflix and Amazon and see if we can watch it very soon. All right, last pin. Yay! What do you think, guys? It is Stitch, Stitch, Stitch. Yay! Okay, I know this is a guitar. Part of me wants this to be a ukulele, so because Stitch is just rocking it on the ukulele. This is really beautiful. Yay. All right. So thank you so much for being with us for this. And again, we'd love you to subscribe. We would love you to give us a thumbs up. Um, let me know a little bit in the comments which pin you liked the best. Let me know if you've got any of these guitars or if you want to trade for Mrs. Potts or Blue. I'd be happy. Um, all right, so I am really happy with these, even if they're a little smaller than I thought, and even if I did get a couple doubles. I will say that pin trading and pin collecting is super fun. It is also potentially a very expensive hobby, and I'm learning about it rapidly. I've just started doing this in the past couple of months, so I'd like to give you a few tips that I've learned. First of all, the dangerous thing is that you don't have to go on a Disney cruise or to a Disney park or to a Disney store to buy some pins. You can actually buy them at home on your computer from a number of places. And um, that's a different experience because it's not linked to a vacation, it's not a souvenir, but it is a way to get pins even when you don't have the time or money to go all the way to Disney. Um, I've found that there are a few places to get them slightly cheaper. You can buy pins, not every pin out there available, but you can buy pins at the official Disney online store, which is Shop Disney. Um, there you're going to get the same real retail price that you would get in the parks. And then there's a few places where you can maybe find them a little cheaper than them. So there are a few places to get pins a little cheaper than the main retail places. Uh, you can get pins online 
through the official Disney store, which is Shop Disney. They don't have all the pins available right now, but they do have quite a number. There you're paying the same retail prices that you'd be paying at the parks or in a Disney store at a mall, that sort of thing. And then you can also look on eBay. Um, eBay, you might find some scrapper fake pins that are for sale. It might be hard to tell. See if there's actually the back of the pin shown because that can tell you a lot depending on how the back of the pin looks. Um, but also on eBay, if you look for the sealed bags or you look for sealed boxes of mystery pins, if you're interested in buying mystery pins, the sealed ones are probably more likely to be authentic. Look for the word authentic as opposed to tradable because tradable just might mean that, hey, this is a good enough fake that you can trade it and no one's gonna know. Um, on eBay, you tend to find the slightly older releases. These are actually limited release and they just came out last week. So they're on eBay already, but they're more expensive than if you ask somebody to pick them up in the parks for you. There are a couple other places on Facebook um, where you might find people who are able to do some discount trading. Um, there's one I found called Discount Disney Pins. That's a Facebook page. Take a look at it. Um, those are authentic. And I'm not quite sure how everybody gets the authentic pins a little cheaper. Maybe they're buying in mass. I do know that if you're an annual pass holder, you're getting 20% off at the parks to begin with. So sometimes you can pass that 20% on to the next person or even sell it for 10% less and still make a slight profit. So there's a whole economy of Disney out there besides the actual official Disney economy. I did say on my very first video on here that you can buy sets of pins off of Amazon for about a dollar each, which you can do. You can get a block of 25 pins for $25, 50 pins for $50, those are the ones that are most likely to be the fakes. And I have to confess that we bought a bunch of those. I took the ones I still had and I sorted through them and tried to figure out which ones were fake and which ones weren't. I don't know if I did a great job, but you know, if your kid just wants them for fun and you're not getting into official pin trading or you just want them for fun, then who cares if they're fakes, right? It's not like we're talking about something that's real gold or real silver. Um, it is. It is enamel and metal and so um, it's okay you want them to look pretty so I am trying to build my pin collection I am trying not to go crazy and overboard because there's certainly many other things that I can and should be spending my money on um, but I'm learning ways to get things a little bit cheaper so that we can continue getting the pins that we really want as a family we would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. We've got more coming up. We've got a trip to Chattanooga, a trip to the beach, some fun stuff like that that we will share with you. And we really are trying to grow this teeny little channel, so please go ahead and subscribe. When we hit 25 subscribers, we're going to do our first giveaway. And if you're here, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you like it. Give me your comments below. Really appreciate those comments. That way we know who's watching. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.